subscribe AMI and get the latest technological updates every day. Also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos. Hey guys, welcome back to AMI. So guys, in this video we are going to learn about the gear cutting operations and the types of the gear and all the terminologies we'll learn in this video. So so guys the basic purpose and the use of the gears. So the gears are widely used in various mechanisms and devices to transmit power and motion that is positively without slipping. It transmits the power and motion between the parallel intersecting axis or non intersecting and non parallel shafts. So it transmits power and motion without changing the direction of the rotation or with change in the direction of the rotation. It also transmits the power and motion without a change in the direction of the change of the speed or rotation or with change in speed at any desired ratio. The next one is the categories of gear manufacturing process. So guys, uh, the gear manufacturing process is widely distributed in two stages. This is the first one is the forming and the next one is the machining. So in forming, we have casting, sintering, injection molding, extruding, cold drawing, stamping, performing and forging. So guys, these are all comes under the forming process. In case of machining, machining we got roughing, finishing, form milling, shaving, rag generation, grinding, gear shaping, burnishing, hobbing, lapping and honing. So guys, lapping and honing, these are the super finishing processes in which the very less and negligible tolerance is used. The next one is the general applications of the gear. So guys, the gears are most commonly and widely used, such as in case of the speed gear box, feed gear boxes, and some other kinematics units of the machine tools. The speed drives in textiles, jute, and other similar machineries. The gear boxes of automobiles, speed, and feed drives of the several metal forming machines. In case of machineries and mining, machineries for mining, in which the large torque required, processing etc large and heavy duty gear boxes used in cement industries sugar industries canes conveyors etc in case of precision instruments clocks and watches in case of industrial robots and toys it is used so these are the applications of the gears the next one is the types of the gear and their characteristics so according to the configuration the gears are some of the gears are external gear and internal gear as shown in this figure. This A shows these are the two external gears and figure B shows the internal gear. The next one is the according to the axis of transmission. The spur gear. The spur gear transmits the rotation between the parallel shafts as shown in this two. And these are the straight tubes or it can be helical tubes such as single helical and double helical. So guys, figure A shows us the two spur gear, that is the small and the larger one, having the two parallel shafts, okay, which are having the straight tooth. So guys, this one is the figure A shows the straight tooth spur gears. Figure B shows us the helical tooth spur gears. This is having the angular formation in the tooths, okay. So this is the single helical, guys. Figure B is the single helical okay and the next one is the C that is the double helical which is also known as the herringbone gear so guys figure 3 shows us the herringbone gear this is having the two degrees of helical tooth gears the next one is the according to the pattern of the motion that is the rotation to rotation that is the wheel type gears that can be the rotation to translation or vice versa and rack and pinion that is of the straight tooth and helical tooth. So guys, the first one A shows us this rotation to rotation. This smaller gear rotates the another bigger gear. That is the according to the pattern of motion that is rotation to rotation. Means smaller gear rotates the bigger gear. Okay. The next one is B that is from rotation to translation. So guys, whenever translation motion comes, the translation motion is nothing but the our linear motion that is the reciprocating motion that is the rotary motion of the pinion gets converted into the reciprocating moment of the crane 
which is normally used in Beyblades. So guys over here we have got this A over here rotation to rotation moment is transferred. So guys figure B or in figure C this uh, shows us this the Bebel gears this is of the straight tooth spiral and so guys the next one is the types of gear cutting operations so the gear milling or forming gear shaping gear hopping and gear finishing so guys in gear milling and forming the gear milling operation is used for gear cutting all types of the gears can be made by using gear milling all types huh guys all types by gear milling so guys milling cutter is selected specifically for particular type of the gear or module the periphery of the gear blank is divided into the required number of the equispaced parts okay the required number of the parts should be equal to the number of the teeth to be made on the gear blank the method of dividing the periphery is called indexing which is an integral part of operation of gear milling so guys the next one is the gear milling in gear form in gear form cutting the cutting edge of the cutting tool has a shape identical with the shape of the space between the gear teeth okay as shown in this figure this guys the cutter is having the shape cutting edge shape of the cutting tool which is which is like the shape between the gear teeth so guys over here gear shank gear blank is the, over here so guys this is the gear milling so guys the cutter rotates cutter rotation rotates that is the form cutter rotates <coughs> okay and along with the indexing after each cut is carried out so guys the gear blank that is the sh uh, feed along with the uh, tool okay guys so guys in this case the gear blank that is of the circular feeding and in the same the cutter also rotates so guys in this image you can clearly see in this cutter is mounted on the arbor okay and it cuts the workpiece as per the requirement so guys the next one is the disadvantages of the gear milling so guys the gear milling is a slow process of the gear generation as compared to the other generation processes so guys it takes time by this process the gear is generated by the cutting one by one tooth so gears are to be made it is not suitable for the larger batch size so guys the other methods required very high capital cost and setup cost as compared to the gear milling so these are not economical for smaller batch size only gear cutting by milling operation is recommended for smaller batch sizes so guys the next one is the gear shaping gear shaping is used as a cutting tool in the shape of gear which is reciprocated axially across the gear blank to cut the teeth while the blank rotates around the shaper tool so guys it is a true shape generation process in which the gear shape tool cuts itself into the mesh with the gear blank as the shown in figure so guys the accuracy is good but any errors in one of the tooth of the shaper cutter will be directly transfer transferred to the gear so internal gears can be cut with this method as well so guys the shaping with the pinion shaped cutter so guys pinion shaped cutter over here this the cutter is having the stroke mechanism so guys over here this cutter reciprocates in the gear blank which is mounted on the cutter spindle okay guys the feed is generally provided to the gear blank which is the feed ratio is normally very much slower than that of the stroke motion so guys this is the work spindle and on work spindle over here our gear blank is mounted and this cutter spindle continuously reciprocates okay in gear blank also guys there is the, this is the process of the gear cutting by shaper cutter also guys this work spindle rotates which is the speed of rotation is very much smaller than that of the cutter spindle also there is this also stroke mechanism also there and this cutter spindle also rotates in normally anti-clockwise direction whereas the feed rotates in the clockwise direction so this was the guys the shaping with the pinion shaped cutter 
so guys next is the gear shaping machine so guys we have got this setup for gear shaping machine so guys over here we have got that is top that is the motor and from which the generally the power and the motion is transmitted we have got the spindle head upon which the cutter spindle is mounted and upon that cutter spindle the cutter is mounted okay guys we have got this work table gear blank which is the circular gear uh, uh, circular uh, disc uh, or uh, or else we can call it a circular or uh, workpiece and this is the work spindle the cutter simultaneously cutting cutter simultaneously cuts the work gear blank in this gear shaping machine the next one is the shaping with the crack shaped cutter so guys the shaping also with the help of the rack shaped cutter so guys we all know the beyblade this is just like similar to the beyblade okay we have got over here rack type cutter which reciprocates which reciprocates also it is having the length of the racks this is like uh, reciprocates also it uh, having the vertical moments also similarly this uh, the rotation of the gear blanks which is mounted on the work spindle so guys this is a process which is known as the shaping with the rack shaped cutter so guys the next one is the gear hopping so gear hopping is generally and the widely used in uh, in the all the industries so gear hopping is the machining process in which the gear teeth are progressively generated by a series of cuts with the helical cutting tool which is nothing but the hob so guys the, all the motions in hobbing are rotary and the hob and the gear blank rotate continuously okay guys the hob and the gear blank rotate continuously as the two gears meshing until all teeths are cut so guys this is the gear hobbing so over here gear blank we have and over here we have this hob and we have got this feed along the gear teeth this is are all the cutters which are mounted over here on the hob so over here the gear blank also rotates and similarly this hob also rotates so this is guys just the setup for the gear hobbing operation so guys this in this image as well you can clearly uh, we can clearly shown how this the hobbing operation takes place so guys the next one is this is also the same guys this is also the gear hob and this is also the on this gear blank this is the axis of the rotation which is shown and this is also the process of the gear hobbing which is shown guys so the hob is mounted and uh, the feed is provided to the hob also the guys there is the axis of the rotation in the workpiece that is nothing but the gear blank so guys this is the process of gear hobbing i hope you understand this guys gear finishing and the last one is the gear finishing so as produced by any of the process described the surface finish and the dimensional accuracy may not be accurate enough to certain application okay so guys in several application we require the certain finishings so guys that not that might not be occurred accurate enough for the certain applications so guys the several finishing operations are available including the conventional processes of shaving and a number of the abrasive operation including the grinding honing lapping and shaping so guys i have uh, stated before this honing and the lapping are the super finishing processes where the high dimensional accuracy is obtained so guys the, these are the gear finishings and the last one is the grinding so grinding in which the abrasive grinding wheel is rotated inside the grinding gear teeth so guys this is the grinding operation which is carried out in the gear uh, tooth and the last one is the lapping and honing so guys uh, in this uh, the lapping and honing are the super finishing processes so guys where the high dimensional accuracy we can obtain and the last one is the gear shaving so guys the gear shaving in which the while the interacting with the gears the gear teeth of the shaving cutter keeps on smoothing and the mating gear flanks by fine machining and high accuracy and the surface finish so this is the gear shaving so guys uh, thank you for watching my video i hope you like my video please do like please do comment on my video please do share and please do subscribe to my channel amai thank you guys for